right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Is Debbie in the building as always? If you are new to my channel, you're highly welcome. And if you're my old returning subscriber, you're highly welcome. So, guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys and also pouring out my mind on the tradition, the practices in Nigeria, especially the eastern part of Nigeria. I hate so much. Yeah. So the first one I'll be talking about is burial. Guys, you people should help me answer the question. Do we really mourn the dead or celebrate the dead? <sighs> because I think we actually celebrate the dead and not mourn the dead in Nigeria. Because I don't see the reason why someone would die. That is when they will start building house, renovating house, painting house. Some go as far as selling their properties, selling land, selling cars, houses, so many things just for burial. And that is when our pastors and reverend fathers that is when they will bring a long list debt that the person is owing they will calculate the tight tight the person have not paid for 100 years calculate um levy church levies that the person church contributions that the person did not pay for 100 years that is when they will pile it up and without paying all this debt they will not come for the person's burial or the person's corpse will not enter the church. So, my question is, what sense does it make? What is wrong with just burying someone without all this celebration music? Some even go as far as bragging about the house they use in burying their grandfather or their father or their mother or all those kind of things some say yeah do you know how many cows we killed we killed three cows for my father's burial we killed uh five cows for my mommy's bed my mother's burial my grandfather's burial and the rest of them to me it doesn't make any sense people that are painting why didn't you people build this house when this person is alive to enjoy the house why didn't you renovate the house why didn't you paint it why the person was alive so that the person would also enjoy and uh, partake in it why now that the person is dead that is when um you have to renovate and that is when people will not start contributing money people that, ne people that never cared about the person that is dead the people that never try to help or 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 even check up on this person why the person was alive to me it doesn't make any sense and i wish this burial tradition can be abolished so that people can just die and bury them just bury them let them to rest meet god in heaven and answer their own questions there you get honestly i just wish this tradition can be abolished honestly i so much detest this burial thing honestly because these days people don't no longer cry because they lost their their loved ones they cry because they don't have money they don't have money to bury the person they don't cry again because ah, i lost this person they cry because when they remember that ah, I don't have the money, oh, I have to do this, I have to. They cry because of what will leave them. The money they will spend to bury the person. It doesn't make any sense to me, honestly. I just wish this very thing can be abolished. Let's start acting like the Muslims. Yes. Some people will even leave the dead person in the mortuary for um, months. And that is when they will start um, painting the house, you know. Some we even use within the space of three months and build a house, a good house. When I mean a good house, just for burial. Why don't you build this house when the person was alive? Why didn't you, you that money you contributed, since you have such money, why didn't you... Um, take care of the person while the person was alive and this person has been suffering the dead person has been suffering all those while maybe the person even died out of hunger you get but once the person is dead that is when you will know that this person has people I don't just understand it it, it, it makes me feel so sad when I see this sometimes I'll be like why can't somebody just die and let it be that uh, they just bury the person and that is it after all in the bible i did not see where they said we should um celebrate the dead we should start killing cows cooking rice doing all those things calling um and dj 
As in, I, I did not see that one in my Bible. Wish I, I have superpowers. <laughs> I wish I have superpowers. I wish I there is something I can do to stop this. Honestly, and the. Uh, the, then we like to talk about women that always drag for rice people that put rice in the lilo people as in if you see them dragging for food in a barrier not where they know people will still be complaining they didn't eat they didn't do this they didn't drink this that, that blah 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 barrier guys i don't understand honestly to me we celebrate the dead we don't mourn the dead in nigeria so that is it. The second one is bright price. Hmm. This one is worse than my state. If you see the list of bright price in my state, oh my god, it's alarming. And believe, believe me, guys, because of this bright price, so many ladies are single today. Yeah, so many ladies are, are single today because most of the times you find out that the guys usually back off when it's time for them to come and do the right thing they back off because they don't have the money they don't have the money to pay for the bride price so it's not even that they don't have the money most of them they have the money but they find it difficult to bring that amount of money knowing that when once you you get a wife you still have a life ahead of you you have to take care of uh, your wife and take care of your family that will expand soon so you don't expect them to bring that amount of money to just pay for bride price and not that it stops some women from getting married it also made most women are living with a man giving birth to so many kids without the man paying a dime on their head we have so many of them especially back in nigeria so many women are living with men that did not pay anything on their head. That is because of the bright price. I'm talking out of experience. Sometimes they want to come and pay. Some have even gone to collect list. But once they look at the list and see what is inside, they just back off. You get. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if <laughs> something can be done about this. I know. I don't have what it takes to change things, you know. <laughs> I don't have what it takes to change things, but I am speaking out. That is why I'm using this my little <laughs> last form to speak out, to say my mind, honestly. So, guys, do your own part by sharing this video. Share it so that people will get to um, see it. You get most part of everything is. At the end of the day, it's not even your parents. It's not even the parents of the bride that will eat this money or eat these things. Rather, the kinsmen. These kinsmen don't even know the, the girl or the lady. They don't even know you. They will just come that day and be the ones to decide on whatever that will happen, whatever the person, the suitor or the in-law <laughs> will bring they will insist and your parents don't even have a say that day all they will do is just to beg i don't understand the tradition not honestly your parents that um have been suffering for you taking care of you and all that will not be the ones at the back seat why people that don't even know you because i can remember when during my own time when i was doing my traditional wedding they they paid my bride price because the day they paid my brother, that's the day I also did my traditional wedding. They did everything the same day. All those men that are there dragging money and saying you must do this, you must do that. I don't know any of them, guys. I don't, and they don't know me. Because when I came, they were like, ah. They were asking. They were asking my father. Uh, um, saying, bring this one, bring this one. And once you, <laughs> you refuse to bring, or the once the future in law refuse to bring or complains about it, you see them, they'll be shouting. Some will even walk out out of anger, enjoying someone's. Uh, um, they will still have mouth to complain and drag and do all manner of things. I don't know, I don't understand. I wish there is how I can just. <laughs> 
abolish all this tradition honestly so moving on the third one i'll be talking about is first sons taking almost half of the property where i come from male first sons takes half of the father's inheritance it doesn't make any sense to me how will the first son take half of their parents inheritance does that mean other children are not also um, giving birth to the way they gave birth to the first son yes i understand the fact that first sons are since they are the first yeah but not to the extent of giving them half of the inheritance their parents inheritance and this has made so many first sons to be will i say what less i don't know if i'm sounding harsh but i know you guys understand what i'm saying yeah most of the times you find out that they find it difficult to hustle they find it difficult to be responsible for themselves because most of most of them believe that everything their father has is theirs so because of that they don't go out there to struggle they don't go out there to make money they don't go out there to cater for their life that's why most first sons especially in the eastern part of nigeria where i come from most first sons are just useless <laughs> i'm sorry to use the word useless but i don't know how to put it i don't know any other word to use and put it you know most times they just what they do is just to sit at home um those that are, are, are fortunate enough that their parents have um, enough land all they do is to just go about um selling land just being worthless i don't understand and that is because they know they know that whatever their parents have is theirs in some parts they don't even give them half of their um parents inheritance they give them all it's not left for them to from their own free will give their younger siblings so i don't think it's right i don't think it's right i think it's good for all the um children to get little from their parents inheritance no matter how little it is it's also good for them to for the parents to share it among the their children equally yeah anyways and that brings me to the fourth one the fourth one is the fact that when parents are sharing their inheritance they don't give female they don't give their female children any share i think that is pure cheating so i don't see the reason why they should share the um property to only the male and pushing the females aside at least it will be fair enough if they can give the female ones later even if it's small mm -hmm. it's something it's something because all these practices they make um they make male children more superior than female children and that is why when a man doesn't give birth to a male child the person will get angry and go as far as maltreating the wife and maltreating the female children out of um anger tradition has given male children um so much right and made it look as if um, they are more superior than the female children i think it would be also fair when parents are sharing their property they if they can also give their female children no matter how small it is maybe they can give the male children more than the female children but at least let them give them small than leaving them empty-handed thank god for um modernization modernization have made it possible now for you to also give your children some of your inheritance by writing your will 
you know, getting a lawyer and writing your will, then handing it over to your lawyer. So that is it. And final one is hmm, this one. This one is something I don't even know. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. This Osu Ume caste system. Osu. Yeah. Some people might be like, what is Osu Ume? Osu Ume is, I don't know even know how to explain it. I don't really know much about this, but I'm just talking based on what I learned um, from my secondary school, what it's all about. Also, is outcasts. Some people, they take them as outcasts. They believe that they are owned by the gods or something like that. You get. They believe that they are owned by the gods, so therefore, you don't have to associate with them. You don't have to um, do anything with them. I heard in those days, when you even eat something that someone that is also cooked you automatically also once you even when you go to their house for shelter maybe it's raining and you go to their house just for shelter for rain automatically also and all that this one is mostly practiced in the eastern part of nigeria yeah i don't know if any other parts practice it also but i know the eastern part of nigeria where i come from and these days you cannot if you are not an osu or umi person and oh there's another one oh i think so i don't really know you cannot marry them they believe if you marry them i i don't know they believe so many things if you marry them some say if you marry them you will not live long if you marry them these are so many things i don't seem to understand if this thing is you will see a young lady and a young man dating for years and within this year, we've been intimate during the relationship. But once it gets to marriage, <laughs> the family of the lady or the family of the guy will now say, ah, the lady is Osu or the, lady, the man is Umeo, therefore you will not marry him or you will not marry her. And yeah. what is the difference now that they are about to get married? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense. What is the difference? What will change now? They've been dating, they've been meeting each other. But when it comes to marriage, you will not remember that the person is Usu or Ume. Therefore, you will not marry the person. While others were, you've been with this person. You've been sleeping with this person. Does it make any sense? Does it make any sense, guys? For me, it doesn't make any sense to me. Because you have been with this person all this while. You have been sleeping with this person all this while. Since in the olden days, they said if you should eat anything from Osu or Ume, you automatically Osu or Ume. Or if you go to their house, you automatically Osu or Ume. And in the other hand, this young man and this young girl, they have been sleeping together. You have been in a relationship, and I'm sure in the relationship, the girl have been cooking and, and have been giving the guy. And the guy probably have also been visiting the girl, they have been visiting each other. That means both of them are also, or both of them are the women. And that means generally, everybody is also, and everybody is the women. They don't think it's wise, my people. Check them now. Mm -hmm. Check it. If they start judging how they. <laughs> Uh, uh, from the olden days, if you go to the market and if you buy something from them, they also or me, you automatically also or you automatically me. But now we go to market, we, buy, we don't even know who is also again and who is the me. We go to the market to buy. Even people that are sick in the hospital, they go and buy blood. You don't know the blood that is being transfused inside you. You don't know if it's the blood of also or the blood of me. But when it comes to money, I'm concerned, it doesn't make any sense. That tradition needs to be abolished. Yes. Because it has met so many uh, so many ladies single and so many men still single. Yeah. And it has destroyed so many relationships. So many relationships that are supposed to lead to marriage. That are supposed to be fruitful. It has made so, so, so many people miserable in their marriages. Yeah. Because their parents refused and uh, refuse them from marrying who they wanted to marry and they end up marrying someone that is um making their life miserable and that is the cause of so many broken homes now in nigeria and amongst us yeah so
guys that is all i have to say for this video guys if you have any other tradition that is being practiced where you are and you don't like you can also share with us at the comment section that is all for this video thank you so much guys for watching bye guys and see you all in my next video feel free to share this video yeah and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video bye, -bye.